Then you win monies. You win monies. Kaylee. Kay yeah. Named Michael. I think Matthew. Matthew. E.E. E. Charlton Trujillo. Okay. After. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my August wrap up. I read a total of 12 books, which is not as much as I've been reading lately, but I worked full time this month, so I didn't really feel like reading that much because I would come home and just go to bed. So, without further ado, let us get started. So the first six books I read for the 7 and 7 readathon. So if you guys want to check out my vlogs during that, I talk about them and what I thought while reading them. And also I'm going to leave my wrap up for a more in-depth review of each of the books. Because I'm just going to tell you guys what I rated them to save time for this video. Because ain't nobody got time to do a whole in-depth video again when I already have one up. So <laughs> check out the wrap up here. Or here. I'm not sure what that is. I'm a terrible booktuber. Whatever. The first book that I read was Nerve by Jean Ryan. And I don't know if you say her name Jean or if it's Jan because I've heard people say Jan and it makes me so excited because maybe there's another human with the same first name as me, but I don't know. It's spelled J-E-A-N-N-E. I mean, like, it's probably Jean, but a girl can dream that there's actually another Jan in this world. Basically, the book follows this girl named V and she joins this online truth or dare game without the truth and... You win money based on how hard the dare is. It was fun for what it was. I ended up giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I originally had given it a 4 out of 5 stars, but I dropped the rating after I saw the movie because I thought the movie was a lot more entertaining, and after seeing the movie, I was kind of like, the dares in this book were kind of lame. The next book that I read for the 7 and 7 readathon was Identical by Ellen Hopkins. Oh my god, this book blew me away. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I absolutely loved it. It follows two twins. They're identical. The, the title's identical. It was just so good. It follows the two twins, and one of them is Kaylee, and the other one is Rayanne, and Rayanne wants the attention of her father. Her father's attention is solely on Kaylee, and it's just a very good book. I really liked it. Highly recommend it. I'm obsessed with it. Next was Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. This was my biggest disappointment book. I ended up giving it a 2.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I can 100% see why people love this book. I'm not religious in any way, and it was very religious-based, so it just wasn't for me. Next, I read Please Ignore Vera Dites by A.S. King. And I did really enjoy this book. I listened to it on audiobook, actually. The book had a lot of, like, little flow charts and stuff, which were, like, super cute and, like, a fun aspect to the book, which I found more enjoyable. And I ended up giving this a 3.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Next, I don't even want to mention this book because I hated it so much. It's Galaxy of the Empires, The Merchant Wars, Part 1, by Bruce Marker. I hated this book. I gave it a 1 out of 5 stars. If you want to see my full thoughts on it, watch my vlog because I go into anger mode. And that is it. The final book I read for the 7 and 7 readathon was Rumble by Ellen Hopkins, and I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It follows a boy named Matthew, and his brother Lucas just committed suicide, and he feels like he is to blame for it, and it follows him and his girlfriend Hayden, and Hayden's very strongly religious. It's basically just Matthew trying to cope with his brother's suicide and still be in this relationship with Hayden, and yada yada yada. It was okay. I definitely liked Identical more. I do want to pick up a lot more Ellen Hopkins books, so if you guys have any suggestions on which ones you liked, definitely let me know down below because I am in love with her. The next book that I read was Fat Angie, and this is by E.E. E. Charlton Trujillo. Probably butchered that name completely, I'm so sorry. So this book follows Angie, who calls herself Fat Angie. After a failed suicide attempt occurring after her sister went missing in Iraq, Fat Angie is one of the most hated girls in high school. She tries to become invisible, but mean girl Stacy Ann won't leave her alone. That is when a new girl, Casey Romance, comes into her life and everything changes. I ended up giving this a 2.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It was okay, but it had a lot of things that bothered me, like, a lot. The only description we ever get of Angie is that she's fat. And you don't really get anything else. You don't know her hair color, you don't know her eye color, you don't know anything about her other than she is overweight. You never really get to know her as an individual, and it just really bothered me that the author didn't let us connect with her at all. There was a lot of slang in the book and it definitely took away from the enjoyment of the story for me personally because I was trying to figure out what any of it meant most of the time so that was not a fun part for me. I also found the plot to be very complicated and there were way too many subplots trying to be mashed together to form this one story and it just didn't make any sense half the time. I didn't feel like I could connect with any of the characters. 
Stacy and was a terrible cliche and just like the mean girl cheerleader who nobody really likes but everybody is scared of so they like treat her really nicely so that was annoying. Uh, Angie's mom was a terrible vile person. Her brother was a jerk and just every character I just had no connection with whatsoever. Not even Fat Angie. I was just like okay cool like you're there. I also felt that the ending was way too predictable. It was obvious what was going to happen and I was able to call it from the start. So not my favorite book that I read this month, for sure. The next book that I read this month, I absolutely love. It was Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, and uh, this is the second book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. I was supposed to read the uh, third one, Clockwork Princess, and I did not, so sorry. I'll try to read it in September, maybe? Who knows? I ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. He's a gem, my heart, I still love him so much, and I love Will, and I still can't decide who I want Tessa to be with. It's just a mess in my head, because they're both so adorable, I just love them both. I just want them all to be one happy family. I love this series so far, I feel so invested in every single character, and I just- I need to know what happens to my babies. So I'm gonna pick up the third book, hopefully, and then I'm gonna finish the Mortal Instruments as well. Hold me to it, people, it's gonna happen by the end of the year. The next three books I received as part of the booktube tours, and this is a little group hosted by Grace over at Loving Dem Books, and basically we are sent books in exchange for our honest reviews. The first booktube tour I was a part of this month was for The Curse of the Sphinx and Demigods and Monsters by Ray Wagner. I really liked the second book more than the first book. I have a full review up for both of these books on my channel so I'll leave the card up above if you guys want to check it out. I gave this one a 2.5 out of 5 stars and I gave this one a 3 out of 5 stars. Also, if you guys are interested, there is going to be a Facebook party with Ray Wagner. I'll leave the link down below. I'll also leave a link down below for a giveaway for the two books. If you guys are interested in checking that out, I would highly recommend it because they're super fun books and they're very solely based on Greek mythology, which I personally love. If you guys are into Greek mythology, definitely check these books out because they were so much fun to read. The final book that I read for the month of August is Flawed by Cecilia Hearn. I also received this book for a booktube tour and I will leave a link for a giveaway down below if you want to win this book as well. I ended up giving the book a 4 out of 5 stars. I highly recommend reading this book because it was so entertaining. I could not put it down. Check out my review if you want to hear my full thoughts. Alright guys, so that was my August wrap up for 2016. I read a total of 12 books. I think, if I did my math correctly, probably didn't. But I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Goodbye.